episode of Name That Wine. I'm Liz Barrett. I'm a certified specialist of wine, and I write a blog called What's in That Bottle.com. And I'm Liz's co host, Rob Frisch, writer of the award winning wine blog Oddbuckus.com. We are pretty excited because May 25th is National Wine Day. That is our favorite holiday of the year. I mean, let's just face it. It's kind of, it's bigger than Christmas, <laughs> bigger than New Year's. <laughs> it's bigger than Columbus Day. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So Rob has brought a wine for me to try to taste and try to identify, and I don't know anything except it's red. Right. This is, I will say it is American, National Wine Day. Exactly. And I think this is a wonderful, very American story behind this wine and a very sort of American oh my experience. Gosh. And uh, I'll say no more about it. Let's have a taste. Oh my gosh, it smells like Pinot Noir. Ooh, that smells real good. It does. Mmm, I'm super into it. Smells like it is like earth, ripe. earthy, earthy cherries. Yes, maybe some raisins. Mmm. Oh wait. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Mm. Oh. It could be cab. It could be merlot. It could be pinot noir. Do not even tell me you threw a blend in my force field here. It is not a blend. Okay. That just keeps going. The way that keeps developing, right? I mean, is it your field rock? <laughs> That is the delicious wine that I hate. <laughs> oh man, I just want to mm. say Pinot, but it's really dark. Mm-hmm. It's almost like chewy, isn't it? Yeah, it could mm. be Merlot. Wait, 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 wait. It's wait. like wait, dense wait, and rich and... Wait, oh. is it Cabernet? Um, do you th I wonder if you threw me the um, Stag's Leap Cabernet that won the 1976 French, you know, the Stephen Spurrier. Oh, yes, 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 the, the Judgment when, of Paris. The Judgment of Paris. I will say when, it is not a 1976 Stag's Leap Cabernet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you didn't I mean, I love you, Liz, but... Right. You know. Oh, God. Are you enjoying it? It's delicious. I am enjoying it. God, wait. It's... I, I love this kind of red wine because of the way it sort of keeps unfolding. I don't think it's Cabernet. Mm. Oh, dang it. So, you know what's going? Like, I've got a merry-go-round of like, Syrah, Merlot, Cabernet, Pinot Noir. I think I'm taking Pinot Noir out. Wait. Oh, shoot. It's got that earthy nose, though. There is a little earth to it. Earthy and cherry to me could also, I'm not getting as much black fruit. I think I might take Cabernet out of the picture. Do you get the raisin note? I really get a raisin note. Um, well, raisin note is black fruit. Oh, sorry. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh, golly, Gippers. Oh, God. It's delicious. I think it's California. Yes. It is California. All right. I think it's Merlot. Wait. Cherry. There's definitely a cherry. There's definitely a raisin. I'm getting a little mocha now in the aroma, now that it's opened up. It just yeah. a bit. Mm. I don't think it's Syrah. I think it's Merlot. It's California, and I might even... Dang it, that earthiness is really throwing me. Napa Valley Merlot. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And what about the price? I'm going to say the price is about um, $21. Hmm. All right. It is not <sighs> Napa Valley or Merlot. I threw you a bit of a curveball here. It was extremely unlikely you were going to get it. Hit me. It is a... Oh my... Tariga, <laughs> which is a Portuguese varietal. It is a Portuguese grape. From Tur Lodi. From... <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Lodi. What Tariga. It is a St. George Tariga Nacional from Lodi, California, 2014. It's about, I bought it for about $25. All right. And I think it goes for about 28 now. I bought it a couple of years ago. This wine I discovered at the Wine Bloggers Conference when it was held in Lodi, California. Oh. And what is more American than blogging? And, um, right? I love the Wine Bloggers Conference because it was only because of them that I discovered this wonderful winery, which is run by the family of some immigrants. They uh, came from the Azores, which are Portuguese islands, in the 1950s. And then the gentleman who owns the winery now, he was actually going to make beer, but he discovered uh, this destemmer that someone just hadn't picked up. He got it at a discount and said, you know, I'm going to start a vineyard. So now the second generation immigrant has started this winery, which makes 
extraordinary wines wow. from Portuguese grapes like Tariga, Cruzao. Yes, I mean, and it's all varietal wines. They're not blends because Portuguese wines are very frequently blends right, when you get them right. in Portugal. So it's very rare to have just a straight up varietal. And so you get to taste all these crazy Portuguese that's wines. That's cool. I know. So I, I feel like that's very American because Lodi is known for Zinfandel and frankly, even just sort of a lot of kind of bulk blends, wine. Yeah. Blends. It's not you know, uh, a real high class wine region, but it is making a lot of high class wines nowadays. And I think that's also sort of American that yeah. we have this sort of reputation for mass market, whatever. But you know, there's all sorts of gems if you know where to look. Mm -hmm. And uh, I adore this wine. I love Tariga Nacional as I a too. grape. It I has too. super small uh, it berries, is, I always, which makes it concentrated. Every time I've had Portuguese Tariga Nacional, I've always thought it was like if Cabernet and Merlot had a baby. Mmm. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it doesn't have like the power, the which is, can sometimes be really aggressive with Cabernet. And it is a little more elegant and soft, which is, I always think Merlot compared to Cab has that. Mm -hmm. and, Mer and more cherries on Merlot where you get more black fruit with Cab. Right. It's delicious. Yeah. It's super good, Thanks right? Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. You're welcome. I can't wait to the Wine Bloggers Conference because I'm year, going this year too. I know. We're both going to go to Walla Watch Walla. Out. Look out, Walla Walla, because you are in for a treat. <laughs> And we are in for a treat as well. God bless America. God bless wine. And here's to National Wine Day. To National Wine Day. Drink up. Cheers. <laughs>